Welcome to this episode on Christian Apologetics. In this episode, I'll be discussing an article from the book titled Baker Encyclopedia of Christian Apologetics by Dr. Norman Geiser. Now, I highly recommend this book. I think every Christian should have a copy. It's a valuable source for almost everything related to Christian apologetics. And in this video, I will be reviewing, discussing, and paraphrasing the article titled The Anthropic Principle. The Anthropic Principle has to do with the universe and life. Was the universe set up from the very beginning for the existence of life, and specifically human life? The Anthropic Principle says yes. The article provides many quotes from famous astronomers, cosmologists, and physicists, such as Robert Jastrow, Steven Weinberg, Alan Sandage, Stephen Hawking, and Albert Einstein. There is a note from Robert Jastrow that says, quote, The universe is amazingly pre-adapted to the eventual appearance of humanity. For if there were even the slightest variation at the moment of the Big Bang, making conditions different even to a small degree, no life of any kind would exist. In order for life to be present today, an incredibly restrictive set of demands must have been present in the early universe. And they were." Unquote. The article goes on to give some of the demands, such as the gravitational force. The slightest change, as little as one part in 10 to the 40th power, would cause catastrophe to the planets and stars or the centrifugal force of the planetary movements, the expansion rate of the universe, the speed of light, the average distance between stars, the placement of Jupiter, the tilt degree of the Earth, the rotational speed of the Earth, the thickness of the Earth's crust, the amount of oxygen in the atmosphere, the amount of lightning. Even earthquakes are necessary to sustain life as we know it. A quote from astronomer Robert Dyke says, quote, It may be necessary for the universe to have the de enormous size and complexity which modern astronomy has revealed in order for the Earth to be a possible habitation for living beings, unquote. Another quote, this one from the agnostic astronomer Robert Jastrow says, quote, The anthropic principle seems to say that science itself has proven as a hard fact that the universe was made, was designed for man to live in." Unquote. The anthropic principle is based on recent astronomical evidence for the existence of a superintelligent creator of the universe, and it provides evidence for the teleological argument for the existence of God. Answering some common objections. Someone may claim that no explanation for the fine-tuning is needed, because if the universe wasn't finely tuned for the existence of intelligent life, then we wouldn't even be here to observe it. Answer, whether or not we were here to observe it doesn't answer the question as to why it's finely tuned for intelligent life. If a hand grenade went off right next to you and the shrap metal, every piece of the shrap metal missed you, would you be surprised that you were alive? Or would you say, eh, I'm not surprised because if I wasn't alive, I wouldn't even know it. Another objection, someone may say, if we had different laws of nature, then we could have different constants and quantities. Answer, this is a misunderstanding of the argument. Given the laws of nature, why are the constants and quantities finely tuned for intelligent life? A single dart hitting the bullseye is improbable even if there are many bullseyes outside of the dartboard. Within the dartboard, there is only one bullseye and the dart is in dead center. And the book goes into much more detail than I have in this video. Buy yourself a copy. It's affordable and it's well worth it. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions and have a great day.